بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر ڈوئنگ ویل سو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ فرام ویئر وی لیو ان دا پریویس لیکچر ویو آر ڈسکسنگ نوٹس ایپ دا ایپ دیٹ الاؤز یو پیپل ٹو ریکارڈ نوٹس اور اینی تھنگ دیٹ یو وانٹ any important information that you want to store uh, permanently we use so the notes app uh, will help you in uh, like storing that uh, 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 sorting that and arranging that uh, and items or notes so if i go to the outline of uh, today's lecture so today we are going to discuss and our uh, layouts uh, we are already discussing these layouts from the very first lecture but today i am going to uh, discuss them once again uh, what are array list adapters list view now most of the time array list adapters and list view they uh, works combinedly so they they, they i mean uh, you will see all these three item present when whenever you use them then we are also going to discuss how to add menu into android app and then we are going to discuss in in explicit intents um, so there are two kinds of intents implicit intents and explicit intents today we are going to discuss explicit intents explicit intents are those intents that allows uh, uh, you to go from one mobile activity to another active uh, to another activity but uh, you already know that which activity will, uh, will be activated when i go from the first activity uh, so the target activity is known uh, whereas in implicit activity you do not know which activity or which apps will be activated whenever i go from the first activity then we are going to discuss some edit text functions and then we are also going to discuss uh, passing data through intents now you already know that uh, uh, we uh, do mobile application programming in and our studio so this is the interface of android studio we have a java folder where we do um, coding and, and java programming language so in the previous lecture we discuss a main activity and then node editor activity in the main activity we like we have uh, you can see that we set uh, the array list at the top which was called nodes and then uh, we inflated the list view Uh, from the xml file and then we add uh, uh, an example node to our nodes array list and then we set a uh, array adapter give it a default layout of simple uh, underscore expandable underscore list underscore item underscore one so this is by default uh, interface or design of an array adapter and then the array adapter is going to take Uh, information or data from notes array list and then it will going to pass it uh, pass that uh, data to the list view now list view is the interface which we which we have uh, in this uh, activity underscore main file so you can see here this our main file uh, but if i go to the text you will see there it is a list view which we uh, coded or designed in the previous lecture all right so and then this is almost a revision of the first lecture and then whenever you click on a uh, list view item um, uh, a method will be will trigger that method is called on item click and then um, this item is going to uh, give you some information like parent view but for us the important information is the position of the list view item so position is the item uh, 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 of uh that uh, list view item where you click uh, that item all right then uh, what we did we uh, used an intent so this is an explicit intent why because already we know we know that node editor activity will be uh, node editor activity will be uh, activated whenever we uh, whenever we uh, click on the list view item see everything is going fine okay um, all right so uh, so in our case not editor activity dot class will be uh, activated 
will be uh, this activity will be shown on the screen and then we are going to pass some data to that activity and that data is uh, like we pass it through uh, key value pair so key here is note uh, id and the value is position so if you have a key you can access the key value which is called position and then we start the intent by start activity calling start activity method dot intent remember java is a very robust and powerful language it gives you so many methods so many functionality uh, it has so many built-in powerful methods that you can use all you have to do is to use them in uh, at, at a proper place so uh, remember this start activity these intents uh, on create method uh, list view array list adapter all these are built in inside of the java so you just have to use them now whenever uh, we click on uh, this list view item we go to the another activity and that activity is called not edited activity and there it is almost empty we, we are having only one class which is called not edit activity and this class has one method called on create but uh, literally this method is doing nothing so let me run this uh, app and gradle is starting uh, and doing it first remember gradle is a build tool that is possible for managing file and converting those files into apk files so there we have it we have uh, the simple example of our app so you can see that this is our emulator you may have different emulator but this is uh, the list view uh, so list view contain many items uh, inside it so whenever i click on this view list view another activity has triggered so that activity is called notes editor activity this one so and it only has the interface of this activity only has one edit text and that edit text is called name so the corresponding uh, layout for node editor activity is activity underscore node underscore editor and if you go to the design of this activity you will see that we have uh, one activity and it has one edit text so if you go to the text you will see that we have one edit text and this is the design of the edit text so edit text is probably in the middle so somehow we have to push it and uh, like uh, make it uh, uh, at the top so we are going to do it but for now uh, like you can you can like uh, see the different attributes of these uh, name text etc etc whenever you like uh, android is uh, uh, updating almost every week almost every day so i may have a different interface you may have different interface so all right and these are the attributes and you can also search these attributes over here uh, yes if you select it you can see that these are different attributes of the edit text all right if i now go move back to my main activity uh, where we left so here uh, we will we are going to uh, add new code uh, and that code will be to uh, how to uh, like go to the next activity and how we can uh, somehow um, how we can add note uh, more notes in the note editor activity all right so let me okay i think i have already run it okay, okay this is this are not my name if i click it i can change it like uh, okay so this this is our note but if i click back and once again so you you will you, you can see that our note hasn't been saved our note is still there and there is something else uh, that i want to add and that is that this name is in the center which doesn't look good so i want to make it at the top so if i go to the editor activity underscore note underscore editor select this name and you make sure that you have selected edit text uh, otherwise you will not see so 
uh, uh, search for the gravity so here you can see that fail in center of horizontal start is false and we want to search for the top ok make it at the top and also select central vertical and that is that that's fine so now if I stop my app and run it again let me show the emulator you will see that it is now uh, appearing at the very top of our mobile screen so Gradle has finished doing the job and there is no error so now you can see that uh, yes, this name appears at the very top so alright but like this is edit text I can like change this I can like add any information uh, into this um, edit text like uh, Start it again. It has shown some type of error, uh, but don't worry. So we have some kind of error, which uh, I think I am going to run that emulator again. Yes, uh, uh, somehow that emulator has like it has restarted. I don't know why. But that is why it is saying that it is unable to, uh, it, it has unable to launch or install that APK file on the emulator. There we have it. Now it is running fine. If I click on it, I have this information name. But really, what I have to do here, I have to, uh, I have to catch uh, whatever I have uh, sent from this main activity to to my uh, notes editor activity so for that I have to go to the note editor activity and there I am going to add some more code and that will be like if I go here yes and right edit text Edit text. Uh, so let us have an object of edit text, and then you can say find view by id uh, dot id dot edit text, and uh, if we uh, yes, now we have to catch the intent that I passed through the main activity. It is telling us an error, and that is because edit text class hasn't been imported. Enter it and then put it that error. Click here, and now the information which we are passing from the main activity. Let me maximize the screen. So, the information which we are passing here from uh, from this line put extra node ID found position. We are like not catching that information, we are not catching the example node here. Uh, so, somehow we have to catch it and then. Uh, we have to uh, show it on our node editor activity. For that, we have to define another intent here. You write intent and we use get intent method. I hope that the spellings are correct. Okay, once again, we have error this intent class in order to get rid of this error and then what we can do next is uh, declare an integer make call it note id and then intent dot get extra so we are getting information from uh, from the key 
So what was the key? It was note. I make sure that we spell it correct. Uh, and we have to also give it a default value. Default value is that value. Uh, I mean, if you if some uh, for some reason your uh, the application or the intent is not able to send uh, information, so it will it will have a default value. So in our case, the default value is let's say minus one. All right. So, what does that mean? Like, uh, default value is having a value of minus one. It means that we are not able to catch something from the main activity. So, let us write an if statement. Say that if node ID is not equal to minus one, what does that mean? It means that if we are catching some information. So then I can say edit text dot set text dot set okay let me correct it dot set it set text and okay now it is appearing so I want to set it to the text of the note that uh, we have in the main activity so what I have done, I have write, uh, written edit text, edit text is our object and then the set text will be the uh, text of uh, of our uh, array list which we define the main, uh, uh, main activity. So I can show here, I can show you, yes somehow we have to show the text of this this array list nodes in our nodes activity but for that I have to make this array as a static static array list and then I can like uh, go to the editor node activity then here I can say giving us an error so let us see cast parameter character sequence okay we, we have to cast it to character sequence so for that we have to uh, pass another parameter uh, notes dot get so now uh, if I stop my previously uh, uh, running version of my app and run it again so you will see that uh, whatever whatever is now let us let us wait and see so it is launching gradle is working it's your gradle is our very nice friend okay now when i click on this example note example note is any example nodes and uh, you can yeah, just imagine it so if I click it so I'm still not getting that example note here uh, so let, let's see why uh, let me stop it for once, once again I think I have yes you can see that I haven't spelled it correct it's not ID so that is why it is not accepting so here we are passing this not ID and you can see here I misspell it I like I think there was a small typo I, I wrote I L in small letters so that is why it was not showing us Once again, I'm going to tell you about the Gradle. Gradle is a third party tool. It is there for uh, arranging uh, and compiling uh, our 
uh, mobile application files and then converting it into .apk file. So apk file or xc file for Android application. Now you can see that we have example mode over here. So now uh, um, somehow we are able to pass data from one activity to another activity. And I can come over here and I can say that example mode is and uh, you are noticing something that when I click it once again so that uh, it has not stored that permanently so we have to come uh, up with this uh, additional with some additional functionality in order to get uh, rid of uh, the temporary file or uh, the temporary uh, storage so we have to we may you know we have to permanently store our data in our list activity so for that uh, I think we should uh, we should come down here and okay so I'm going to add just as I told you in the very beginning we are going to add some function related to edit text and that function one of that add text change list so whenever the text of edit text will change so uh, this listener uh, will trigger so add text change listener and then it is like new uh, text new text voucher so the moment i write new text voucher it has automatically added three functions before text change, before text mean, before the text was changed and edit text and then we have on text change you can see over here and then after text change so for us the important function is this on text change so I'll be adding my code on this on text change in order to um, uh, like what in order to write some code that will trigger whenever text is changed on edit text so i hope that you are getting my point but still if there is any problem you can like, ask me i know that uh, um, mobile uh, programming is a little bit difficult uh, because there is a lot of classes and there are lots of function uh, so now the question is what should we what should we do uh, over here? We can say that um, on text change, we can write main activity dot notes dot set and then parentheses note id and then change it into string dot value or convert it into character sequence. giving us an error and uh, we are going to figure out what is that error we can check it here ok it says that make not id as final so now we got get rid of that error but still it is giving us Okay, the character sequence which we were getting uh, was from here, so we can character sequence. Now it has we have somehow managed to get uh, rid of this that error. That was because I was using character sequence in here the 
spelling of correct to seeker for something else or something else. Now moving on, we are going to we are going to add some more code and that will be to that code will be Paste it here. Array adapter. Make it static. And then this. Okay. So now I have make it a static. It means that I can directly access it from another class uh, by using the class name and then the dot of it. So main activity dot adapter now I can access it and I'm going to like I'm going to tell you what is happening over here. Dot notify so what whenever the text inside the edit text is changed, I want to notify my adapter that the text is changed so you should change the text in the on the interface. Remember, adapter reside between your data source and, and between your uh, interface. So, when the data source changes, we should tell the adapter that look, the data source has changed now, change um, the data on the interface as well. So, for that, I am writing this code main activity dot array adapter dot notify data change. So, why, why we uh, wrote this code? We wrote this code because now if we change the data in the node editor activity, this change will be re also reflected in the main activity. And this was our problem. This, this was a problem in our previous case. Like uh, when okay installation yeah, successful. So in the previous case, when I click on the example node, then uh, uh, and then. I changed it so the change was not permanent. So example node uh, is yes, fine. So if I move back now it is also telling me that the example node in the main activity has also been changed. I have still this node is not stored permanently in my mobile phone. So I, I have to make it permanent. But for that, uh, we are going to discuss this matter uh, later on. But this line of code, this line of code is telling the array adapter that the data has been changed because uh, we are in on text change method and um, the user has changed the text. So you should also update that text on the main interface. So previously it was not updating it, but now it is updating it. Uh, we have made array adapter as static in the main class here you can see that now it is static and it is um, it, it is accessible from the rest of the class so what uh, it, it will be very nice that if we somehow add a menu item over here and when I click on that menu item I am able to I am able to like add more nodes so for that uh, I'm going to go to my uh, resource file and then I'm going to right click and let me right click new and I'm going to create a directory and that directory is nothing but menu. Click OK so you see that a menu directory has been created. And you can right click on the menu directory go to new and here menu resource file 
so this window appears and here you can write add give it a name node underscore menu leave the default as it is so this will be the file of our menu uh, file that is inside the menu folder remember that the extension is .xml so almost every resource file has extension of .xml now if I go if, if I go to the the text or of the code of this uh, add notes menu I can add item over here so you can like you can see in the design this, so this is that design I haven't added any added any item so go inside these opening and closing uh, angle brackets which are called menu and add an item you probably know that how to add items so I will write android android title so what will be the title you can add any title but here I am going to say it is add make it meaningful ID and the rate ID and no. All right. So okay. So if I uh, type this angle bracket, and our studio is smart enough to also add this closing item. You see that 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 uh, menu has appeared. So on this add note under add underscore and note underscore menu uh, file, um, this is our interface. So when you, whenever you click on these three dots, so you will see this add note menu item. So now we have to integrate it into the main file. Uh, why it is important? It is important because we want to. It is necessary because we want to see them, see it in the main uh, file. So it will be better if we go below here, uh, outside of remember outside of on create method, and we can like uh, we can say uh, we can add a method public. get menu inflator so this object this menu inflator object is responsible for inflating this add underscore note underscore menu file in our main activity so moving ahead we can write menu inflator dot inflate inflate what we can say that we have inflate Menu which we receive here in on create option. All right, uh, uh, still, uh, I'm going, I have some like doubt that okay, we are having error because we are not passing returning and anything from this on create method. So, I hope that.
Let me say that we are going to return. Super dot on return it to me. So what it will does it will um, return this menu to the super on create menu method. This code is going to inflate or add the menu inside your main activity file. But after adding it, we also have to uh, we, ha uh, we, we, we also have to uh, add in the functionality where what happens if we click on the menu item. So for that, I'm going to write on. Certain some code which is good. So on option item selected, menu item item. So what happens? If, um, so if we click on the item, so we are going to check it. If item dot get item id is equal to id of the the case then what should happen we should not and for the above case you can see the data false There, everything is fine. So, if an item is selected, what we are going to do, we are going to uh, start an intent. Let me write intent. intent, and we are going to create a new intent. We already know that intent is a class, and this intent, it's small i, is an object of class the first thing is this one here the current activity which is main activity which is represented by get application context then we want to go to note edit activity which is the activity where we can edit our notes and then we can say start activity there it is Says that this is unreachable statement. So let me figure out. Okay, I just have to remove this return because I mean, you do not have to return. Uh, I don't want to return to the super class. I want to return it as a false. And so it was running this code and these statements were not reachable. So that is why it was giving us an error of that these statements are unreachable because they are unreachable. So you won't be able to run it so better delete it. But I do not want to delete it. I want to delete the return that returns the uh, item selected to the super class. I just want to return false to the super class and just want to see that how uh, how it behaves when I click on it. So all right, uh, I think uh, we should uh, we should see how, uh, on the emulator how our app behaves when I click on the menu item. Okay, 
So it is launching. You can see. Yes, the menu has been added. So if I click on it, you can see here beautiful add note menu item. So if I click here, my the wrong button ok no my notes keep stopping it says that my note is keep stopping let me close here this is like some kind of bug let me uh, let, let us go to let's go to the lock it's very, very important to see what happened so going to the error let me explain it a little bit figure out what went wrong so there are lots of lots of error mm, what I can do I can delete all those error like just for the sake of clarity I can run my uh, app again Why my app is running? I can click on this add node, this name, add node. Okay, so this was the error. Let me minimize it and check it in the It says java.nine array index out of bound error. So length zero node editor activity at line number 36. So if we move to the node editor activity, we move to the line number 36. So this thing is causing the, this thing is causing that error. So if it is not equal to minus one. Okay. Okay, I think I got the error. It says that like we are accessing an array element that is out of bound that is unreachable uh, so what was out of bound error out of bound error here in our case for that which was unreachable was minus one so when i click on the menu item uh, so in that case our default value was minus one so that is why it is saying that I cannot access minus one uh, when uh, in, in node editor activity and I don't know what minus one means so in order to get rid of this error we have to add um, some line over here um, some check and that check would be to see if whether if our value is minus one or the value which we pass from our edit text so if it is if it is minus one so this else code will trigger let me close parenthesis and here I have to write I have to write main activity dot add something to the nodes array uh, by default I'm going to add an empty string if we have minus error minus one uh, default value and then I can say node ID is equal to I have added something inside the node then what I can do I can go to the main activity go to the size because if I have added four items so four items in array are represented as 0 1 2 3 so 0 is also included so main activity main activity okay dot notes dot size remember that we have to pull the very latest uh, item of our array list minus one 
so this way uh, we will be able to if we will be able to get the array item that is at the very uh, top of our array list so now it is giving us an error and that is because it says that node id is what is, what is that error uh, not make not find actually it says don't make it find okay i'm going to cut it here and i'm going to paste it over here not make it global not to get rid of this error So whenever we have, when we click on the menu item, we will be going here in this else code, we will be adding an empty string to the nodes. Remember the nodes is, what is nodes? Nodes is, this nodes is, we can see here, is an array list. We are going to add an empty string to the nodes and then uh, node ID will be assigned uh, the value of the very uh, item which is at the top of the array list. So I hope the code is understandable and uh, easy. Uh, but uh, you have to practice it a lot because there are so many things uh, happening and it is like you can see here that I am also getting a lot of error. It's like trial and error. You practice, practice again and again and you do a lot of uh, hard work then you can you will be you will see that you are learning something so now uh, uh, this is my name if I like remove it and say it add note so now you can see that it is not giving me any, any error so the logical error has disappeared if I go back so add note has been added to the but really what is the meaning of this this name here name is the default text that is given to the edit text in edit activity underscore so I can like select it and I can go to X property and yes you can remove this doesn't look very intuitive now if, if, we, if I close my app and run it again you will see that the name will not appear on by default on the edit text so this is our activity example note add note you, you, you figure out that yes now I can go here and So name has gone now if I go back so that thing is added but still this is not permanent I have I am not saving anything permanently on my computer what should I do what should I, this app does it it should save the data permanently for that we are going to use shared preferences or you can also use databases you can uh, but uh, you can in, in this version of this app you can add as many nodes as you like so, games. so I'm adding another node and if I go back you will see that these nodes are added but we have figured another point one point is that this is not storing data permanently the other thing is that uh, we are also not able to like delete my node I mean, uh, like I, I should click I should click on this uh, node here on my main activity and it should have a functionality of deleting it but these are I mean storing nodes permanently deleting nodes these are the things which we are going to discuss in the next class 
I hope that uh, that today uh, lecture was not boring. Uh, go and practice this code, run this code many times. Uh, inshallah, in the next class, uh, we would be able to uh, finish this app, uh, and this will be practical, uh, real life app. So, for now, for the next class, uh, see you last.